hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is the first actual tutorial that i'll be uploading and it's gonna be a hot girl sweat proof makeup look i'm just gonna teach you guys a couple tricks and a couple tips as well on how to keep your makeup on all day and have it last all day and also how to keep your makeup matte as well and still make it look just a bit dewy um just kind of like a big like a good combination of both and it's gonna be a full coverage look today it's not gonna be like an everyday makeup tutorial but that that wasn't the purpose of it so um this is just a hot girl literally a hot girl sweat proof um makeup look and i hope you guys enjoy so i'm gonna start off using the maybelline fit me the matte and poreless and then i'm also gonna use the milani um conceal and correct I like the Milani one just because it's full coverage and then the Maybelline one because it's a little bit darker on me plus it's matte and then if you're trying to stay matte throughout this summer you gotta use matte foundations unless you have really dry skin if you have dry skin that's why I think this one's perfect because it's dewy but it's not overly dewy so I use about that much I'm mixing both of them together just because it's Honestly, what works for my skin color. And I just start off. And of course, I I primed, but I don't really use, honestly, I'm not a really big, like, primer type of girl, to be honest. Like, I don't really use primer that often, just because I don't think I need it. I use the Morphe sponge to blend, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And you might have to layer but it's always better to do less so less is more because sometimes when you overdo foundation it ruins the look it's very important to blend because if you don't blend that's how you end up having harsh lines on your neck and how you end up uh, <laughs> how you end up not really bro i can't speak i can't do this youtube thing i take really long pauses when i talk it's a really bad like habit that i have or i guess it's just actually it's not a bad habit it's just how i am um i just take forever to speak and like i'll have to think forever about what i'm gonna say why am i like that i don't know ask god but yeah so this is what one layer looks like and honestly it covered me pretty well, but I want another layer. Um, I put way too much. Damn it. But yeah, so I have acne scars. I know this doesn't, it doesn't really look like it because cameras make you look like you're perfect when you're really not, but. Also a tip that I learned was from Daisy Marquez was to just kind of like create like a double chin. So that way you can like blend down your neck. This is so crucial too, because you don't want to be that girl that does her makeup so good and then she just has a streak, you know? It just does, it's not a good look, it's not. So I've been using the Morphe concealer and honestly, I love it. It's really good. It's not too full coverage though. So like if you're looking for something very full coverage, I wouldn't really go with this one, but it does um, blend so nice and it's so pretty on the skin. I do it under my eyes and I also do it on my chin. So I just try to do like, these little streak marks because it'll it'll help blend out and not look like a triangle if you know you want it to blend out so i just also cover up my pimps yeah i got pimps my pimps blend that out so before i get into powder i do oh my gosh i just realized i'm supposed to be looking at the camera anyways so before i get into powder and setting my face i do like to let my face just kind of soak in the foundation and soak in the concealer so then that way when i do put the powder on it just looks a lot smoother and you guys will see what i mean by that so i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows i'm gonna do them off camera because they take forever so i went ahead and finished my eyebrows off camera 
And what I'm going to do now is set my face with translucent powder. So I use the Airspun powder. And honestly, it's cheap and it works really well. And this is key. This is literally key for your makeup to stay on and for your makeup to actually be sweat proof. Um, the translucent powder, what it does, in my opinion, it just gives you such a smooth look and it locks your makeup in. But I don't bake. What I do is I actually, when I apply it, I apply it and I press it on. So when you're pressing it on like this, you're pressing it on to your foundation. And it's so important that you let your foundation kind of just settle and you just press your powder in. It's super important also just to like treat it like blending. So you're just blending that powder into your skin and you're letting it melt into your skin. Then I go ahead and put it on my chin. I feel like people usually tend to have oily skin on their chin, their nose, and their forehead. So I also do bake right here on the sides of my nose. I mean, not bake. I'm sorry. I do press powder in to the sides of my nose like this. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the camera caught that, but literally my jaw just cracked and it was weird. I do also do my nose because I love the way a smooth nose and a smooth under eye look like just gives me life so yeah I also do my forehead and this is important this is so important because people usually get very oily on their forehead so it's it's very important to press that powder into your forehead Even though I'm not going to do any eyeshadow, I do also do it on my eyelids. Just because I love a smooth lid. We love a smooth lid. Now, I also do it on the rest of my face. It's just I don't do as much on my cheeks. So, moral of the story is, wherever it is that you get oily, press powder onto her. Yeah, I don't know. This YouTube thing is really new to me. So, I feel like I'm not finishing my sentences. But, whatever. And I keep forgetting to look at the camera. I'm sorry. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe off the excess with the brush. And um, real quick, I just want to say that I believe this is the most important part of doing your makeup. So that way it's completely sweat proof and um, oil proof. Just because once you set that powder onto your skin, it just locks your foundation in. Um, I actually went to a music festival here in Tampa, it's SMF, and I did my makeup both days and my makeup stayed on the whole entire time. I was sweating, I was, I literally was like poured with water everywhere and my makeup stayed on all night. But like I said, I am combo, I'm not too oily, so still though, I literally got sprayed with water and my makeup stayed on. So this is definitely a sweat proof and waterproof um, makeup tutorial. Now I'm going to contour. And I love contouring. I feel like it honestly just pulls everything together. Fun fact, I when I do people's makeup, my favorite part is not doing the eye look. It's honestly just doing like the face makeup because it's so cool to see people's face just transform, just completely like contour up. And I just feel like when you put foundation and everything, it just changes the whole game when you do another person's makeup. So the way I contour is pretty harsh. It looks pretty harsh when you first start, but the key to everything is always blending. You have to blend. If you don't blend, you're going to have a harsh contour. So how I contour is I start off here at the temple and I kind of do it as high up as I can. So I use a powder contour and I just start off, like I said, on my temple and I try to do it as high up as possible because the lower you do it, the droopier your face will look. I love doing contour just very close to the edge of your hairline. So when I do it on my forehead, I try to stay as close to my hairline as possible. That way, when I bring it down, it just smoothly blends down and it looks more natural and skin-like.
Now with the same brush that I used to, to uh, wipe off the excess powder, I'm gonna also use that brush to blend out my contour. I'm gonna move on to nose contouring. My favorite thing ever. I love the way the nose contour just kind of pulls everything together in my opinion. So I start off from the eyebrows and I make my way down. And I just use like a eyebrow, eyebrow. I use like an eyeshadow brush to apply my um, nose contour. And yeah, so if you start off from the brow and just bring it straight down, it'll give you that nose job look and I also like to go like this around my nostrils just kind of even all that out going back with the same brush I also blend my nose contour because it's not cute if you don't blend your nose contour it's, it makes it look very obvious that you contoured your nose blend it to the sides and then I blend it down the middle so to the sides like a sweeping motion and then down the middle It's so important to examine your makeup as you do it and make sure that you are able to identify what is not blended and what is blended because trust me, we don't like an unblended queen, if you even want to call her that. Next step is the blush. I feel like blush just adds life to your skin and I just like to do it on the apples of my cheek and slowly go up. And I also want to add this little tip. It's it's really good to go back with your beauty blender and just kind of like melt your skin or melt your skin. Melt your makeup back into your skin. And put all those powders and blend them all out. This is just something I like to do. And me personally, I don't really care too much for cutting my contour, but I do sometimes grab a uh, powder and I grab that's why I like this sponge just because it has this little edge on it and I do sometimes like to go in and cut it up a bit and then I don't like to let it sit I just wipe it off right away now highlight is something that I love let's lather that puppy up I love putting it on the tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, and on my cheeks, of course. I'm not a fan of too much highlight. Like, I do love it, but I feel like sometimes people can go overboard on it. And yes, I do believe there's such thing as too much highlight. All right? I'm not trying to look... We're trying to look matte, kind of. We're trying to stay more on the sweat-proof look so if you're already sweaty if you're already oily and you're adding more highlight on top it's gonna make you look a little bit more oily so i definitely don't like putting too too much i also like putting it here so today i don't necessarily want to put any eyeshadow on but i do want to kind of add like an inner corner pop because it's a hot girl summer we do hot girl things okay so i want to put yellow i feel like yellow is just such a summery color it's so pretty it's so i don't know it just grabs people's attention you know and i don't know i just love the way it looks it's just like a little pop it's not too much and it just adds a little sun you know so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab a little bit of brown shadow and put it on my lid right here because i'm gonna put on some lashes and we don't want the lash band to show so I'm just going to add a little bit of eyeshadow. Honestly, I don't know why Anastasia did this palette with the velvet because this is thank. I'm going to use the Ardell Lashes, the 203 in black. They're super dramatic and I don't know how this is going to look, but YOLO. And I'm going to do these off camera because... I have a really hard time putting on lashes on myself. For some reason, I can do lashes on other people, no problemo, but on myself, it's a hot mess. So I'll be right back. 
Oh my gosh, I forgot to put on mascara and I started doing... I already put um, lash glue on my eyelashes and I forgot to put on mascara and I'm not freaking out. You are. Just kidding. I'm freaking out. Alright, so I'm back with my lashes and I honestly don't know how I feel, but we're gonna just, we're just going to roll with them. They're a bit dramatic. They're not every day for sure. But if you're going out or whatever, or if you feel like being extra during the day, do you because who cares? So I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick in the shade Praline. I love this applicator just because it makes it so easy to put it on. And even though it's a matte lipstick, I think I want to do a gloss on top. All right, so I'm gonna put my hair up for this one because the last step is to spray your face with matte spray. This is probably the most important part, actually. Besides the pressing your powder in, this is the most important part because this is really gonna keep your makeup intact. It's gonna keep your makeup on all day and it's gonna keep you from, from your makeup just moving everywhere. So, and it also just kind of melts the makeup into your skin. So I decided that I wanted to keep the lipstick matte just because it just looks really good with the rest of the look. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys coming in to watch. Um, this is my first real like actual makeup tutorial going up. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching me and putting up with me. Um, hopefully I'll be filming more. And then whatever you guys want to see, just comment down below, I guess. And yeah. Y'all will see me next time. Bye. Oh my god, I'm so awkward. I don't know how to end videos.